It's been getting more important than ever to own your online experience and the ways in which people can reach you, receive your content, and so on. And with Twitter's most recent <laughs> dumb decision to start blocking all other social media platforms, including Mastodon, including Instagram, Facebook, and specifically they are now blocking third-party link aggregators such as Linktree and Link.bio and so on, it's more important than ever to have your own website, your own place to host your links and things like this. Earlier this year, I decided to host my own as a basic, you know, Y2K cringe HTML page with just links to everything so you could find because I already ran into frustrations with services like bio.link, which is significantly better than Linktree in almost every way in terms of how they support lots of features and how they respond to sex work and things like that. But it's still limited in terms of what it supports, how it looks, all of that. So I built my own and hosted it. This is actually pretty easy. We can dive into more in-depth guides in a future video, but I wanted to give you a rundown of some options available to you if you wanted to kind of take ownership. Obviously, this is yet another red flag that you should probably be moving away from Twitter. Just saying, but you know, if you're sticking it out, waiting to see if it bounces back somehow, if someone takes it from him or if these policies get undone and you you want to still be able to link yourself without losing everything, there's a couple services you can use to quickly build out similar services to something like bio.link and whatever. It's important to realize that the way that these things are blocked are just blocked through the URLs themselves. So you can still build and host your own website or redirect your URL to one of these things and it still perfectly works. And so a service that I like to use for purchasing domains is Namecheap. They have really, really good prices, but so does Porkbun, which is another domain purchaser. And you spend like three bucks for a cool domain, and then you can point it just towards one of these websites. And BioLink, for example, has a custom domain option. And so you can just put in your domain, follow the instructions, which take a little bit of effort, but aren't super, super complicated, and you're good to go. So if you want to just quickly work around that, you can do that. However, there are some other sites, such as Card, which is just a basic one page layout. So you could set up all your links, like for example, this one is very much that kind of style where you're not building out a full website with a full, you know, uh, multi-page thing and blog and all that stuff. You're just building a page for people to know who you are and where you are. And that's it. Card is a great service for that. So is Tiny Host, in which you literally just make an HTML page, upload it, and you can either use their tiny site domain or you can add your own custom domain. You could even just build a PDF file and use that as your website, or they do have templates available to you. Of course, there's full website builders like Squarespace and installing WordPress on your web host and things like that that everyone always talks about. And of course, there's the good old NeoCities. NeoCities is a revival of the old GeoCities days where, again, you just build basic HTML websites that can get pretty complicated or whatever and host them on there either with your own custom domain or just through NeoCities, which is not yet hosted yet. And there are great examples of stuff that people are doing with it, and you can get super advanced with it or super basic, however you would like. So there's lots of themes. There's also, of course, the entire Yesterweb community uh, that I will have linked below if you want some resources to get into building your own website and doing all that stuff, but it's not, it's not required. My goal here is not to turn you into a web dev, but just get you thinking about some specific steps you can take to better support yourself and take ownership of your online presence. And so, like I said, I moved all of mine to a NeoCity site, which is just basic HTML hosted here, and I can download it whenever I want and host it wherever I want from there. And you can have all the links to me, and that's at eplesvox.com. And unless I'm personally targeted, it's not like Twitter's gonna go and block that specifically. So you can drop that in your bio, and I had already done that, you know, in the first place a while back, just because I don't like a lot of these link aggregator sites. But this is just kind of a quick high level thing just for those of you seeing the news and wanting to react. And frankly, this works better in general for self verification and for linking these things out on all social media platforms, not just Twitter. So getting in the habit of doing this kind of thing and picking a cool domain that's on brand for you that you can then use for many other things, set up your own email and all that stuff. Really great way to go. And I'll have links to all of these services in the comment or in the description down below. Let me know in the comments down below if you want any detailed guides on setting this kind of thing up. Because this is just a super basic HTML template. Or like I said, there are plenty of pre-built services that you could use. But if you want a walkthrough step by step, do let me know. Just wanted to do a quick high level guide here just to 
get the conversation going. Let me know what you're using for your one pager or for hosting your website in the comments below. Like I said, go check out Neo Cities. And otherwise, remember to be kind. Rewind.